Okay, everyone, let's go. This gets more complicated every year. It's more complicated every year. Thank you. Why would anyone do that? Jonathan is like the poltergeist. He likes to leave things open. I don't know why. I literally don't know why. Like, does anyone else, can anyone else relate to this? Like, does your husband just leave things open? Like, they can't just close the door after they, as in, Jonathan will do this in the kitchen as well. He'll open a cupboard, leave the door open. What kind of a psychopath? <laughs> like just uh, what planet are you from that you open a door and don't close it after you especially something like that like a cupboard a wardrobe i just i don't get it kids beds are made there we go i think we're organized for school i'm not 100 100 sure because we won't really know until we go to school and then I realize, oh, I forgot to get that or, but I, I think I have everything. Eduardo was the one who had the most that he, we needed to buy for because his uniform changes completely in year one. Um, and so Emilia was kind of not upset, but she was like, I didn't get anything because <laughs> she literally got a hoodie that she grew out of for PE and that was it. You're just coming with me as I move stuff around. Very exciting. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> funny story, except it's not that funny at all. I bought these sheets for Amelia. They've got unicorns on them. They were from Next. Um, I bought them at the same time that I bought the sheets for Eduardo, the Giovanna Fletcher ones that I absolutely love. They're on, on his bed right now. These are Giovanna's sheets that she made for Next because it's all bears and like woodland kind of theme. And I bought the unicorn ones. And Amelia hates them because they have this trim and to be fair, she's right. Like at first I thought she was just being fussy and then I felt bad because I didn't really listen to her. I was just like, well, I was annoyed because I had spent money on the sheets and like she'd slept on them a couple of times so I could hardly send them back. The trim is very uncomfortable. It's like a scratchy kind of like Lorex kind of trim. The other set was for Alessia but I had taken them out and washed them. So I don't think I can send them back either. I should really have checked something like that, but I didn't even think of it. I just saw unicorns and got excited. Are you reading to your baby? Yeah, he's hugging it. Yeah, because they're best friends. Yeah, he's picking him up. How come you're not dressed and everybody else is? You go get dressed, bless you. Uh, Amelia. Hello, mister. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> the end. Okay. Well, can you put that one back first? Good girl. Well done. That way, yeah. Are you going to read another one? I read another Wow. A bit heavy? Yes. Yes. Are you making a mess? Oh, okay. 
Look at this baby. He's intent on going down the stairs himself. Whoa, careful. Hi. No, we're not going in the bathroom now. You don't want to hurt yourself, no. No, we're not going in the spare room. Come on. <laughs> He's sliding down. She's lying down. <laughs> the kissing. Aww. Aww. Who's that? <laughs> yeah. And who's that? Is that you? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go from the start again? Okay. <gasps> oh, they were hugging. They were hugging. They were hugging Lassie. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he got a dancing. Who's he, that? He got a little face. Oh, they are kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's sucking her thumb? Oh, me sliding down. <laughs> Is that what he's doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh. Yeah. With his arms, yeah. That's Mia. That's Amelia. And who's this? That's mommy. Yeah. That's daddy. Yeah. Stay home. He's dead. Mm hmm. Do you like them? I'll put that back. Okay. Oh, thanks, Alessi. Oops. What's that? All right, little fella. Little fella. We got a bit of a task ahead of us today, my friend. We need to cut the grass. Also, I need to plant the cypress trees. I was trying for a minute there. I was like, Silius, Cebrolius, cypress trees. I need to plant cypress trees. I'm committing to their placement. I like them there. Therefore, I will plant them. But I need to go get some compost first. Because you kind of want to, you got you want to slide them in compostually so they compose. Compost, compose. I don't think they're related. I don't think composing is anything to decomposing. Oh wait a second, to compose. No, no. I was going to define composition because I actually have a degree in composition because um, I have a degree in interactive media which specialises in uh, digital composition. So, compost. Do I have a degree in compost? Doesn't compost mean crap? Does that mean I have a crap degree? Damn it! <laughs> How did I get there? I don't know! I don't know! Anyway, I'm here now with my crap degree. Ready to <laughs> cut the grass! So, we're gonna cut the grass. Uh, are you ready, Boshy? Fish Bosh. Okay. It is definitely, I know it's like September, but it, it has definitely got a September vibe to it. You know what I mean? Okay, the sun is coming out now, but a minute ago the sun wasn't out. It had this like September-y vibe to it. So, um, yeah, but that's ruined my point because the sun just came out. But the sun was not here momentarily. Okay, let's, um, let's get, let's get, let's get cutting. I'm not sure what the long-term plan is with the, uh, it, the current uh, lawnmower. I really like the battery-powered Bosch lawnmower thing, but I don't know. Once I, um, once I uh, put the grass here, which I think I'm nearly ready. I had to wait a while because I wanted this to all settle, but you can see now the ground doesn't even move when you walk in it like it's solid. That was the thing, like I couldn't have it so it was moving because if I put it on it and it moved, it would have just made a mess and it would have just landslid. 
So now it's like solid and it is ready. I can put um, I can put down the uh, the soil, the grass thingies, whatever it's called, stuff here. Um, so yeah, I'm hopeful that's going to happen soon. Coming into a good time. September is a good time to kind of put it down because it's not as hot as the summer, but it's not. But but then there's a good chance that we're going to get like good level of like moisture and rain and water. It's 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 the Goldilocks. We need the Goldilocks vibe. You know, not too hot, not too cold. You know, Earth is a Goldilocks planet. You probably already knew that. You're alive, living on it. Well, if we don't save the rainforest, it's not going to be a Goldilocks planet much longer. I'm a rootin' kickin' trailblazing cowboy Driving my cattle out west I'm a rootin' kickin' trailblazing cowboy Doing what I do best I'm a rootin' kickin' trailblazing cowboy Driving my cattle out west I'm a rootin' kickin' trailblazing cowboy Doing what I do best The kids are having lunch Andrea's already in bed. Good girl. Okay, give her a wipe, please, Eduardo. Good boy. And I have just been organizing all of the extracurricular activities, all the payments, all of the booking in of things, trying to organize and schedule all the days. And I just got a delivery. And I think I know what this is. Are we ready? Amelia's invitations are here. What do you guys think? Whose party is it? Amelia's. And look at the back. Instead of presents this year, Amelia has requested. Instead of presents this year, Amelia has requested a small cash donation for Stripe Historic, which is a local charity. I bought the invitations from, I think it was Etsy. Yeah, Etsy. Um, I just got plain envelopes to go with it. And then I also got these printed. Let me show you guys. This is our 2019, look how brown Jonathan looks with his spray tan. Uh, 2019, I was gonna say calendar, it's not for the calendar, it's anniversary picture. So I'm gonna frame this one. I bought extra just because it's always nice to have them. Um, I don't know why I do that every year. I just like having extra just in case. I don't need to make the noises. Okay. Oh, oh. All right. Ah. Imagine doing the school run of this. The kids in the back. <laughs> It'd be so much fun though, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, buddy. All right, buddy. It does feel. When you're coming up the big hill, it is then to think, uh, is this a good idea? Oh, we made it. All right, trees. You and me. You and me. All right, because here's the plan, guys. Here is the plan of attack. You see, what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to draw an imaginary line from this point here because when I grass that and grass this, I need to connect, like, I need to create the intersecting block between the new grass I put down and the old grass. And right now, there's nothing for it to connect to, you know what I mean? Because it's just kind of like some of it's on, some of it's off. Like the way this section goes up here from where the path came up. You see over here is where the other two lights were intersecting. So I figure if I draw a line across from there, all the way across here, it will serve as like a guideline. And then nothing beyond that, like everything beyond that is, is nice. You know, that's my plan anyway. Uh, Let's get to it! There she is. The first hole. First hole is easy. But then... Look at this, it keeps happening. <laughs> but then, what, I want, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want the rest of them measured out. So I'm going to figure out, I think I'm going to measure them out. I'm going to do some sort of a mathematics. Because it'll irritate me <laughs> if they're not evenly spaced. Will it? I think it will. I think it will. I want them evenly spaced all the way across in a straight line. That's never gonna happen. It's impossible. 
Anyway, hole number one. What if I got the dogs to come out here and just like dig holes? Ah, it's not deep enough. It's not deep enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, it's not deep enough. There I was planting my tree, and it's not deep enough. Oh no, it's not deep enough. I need to dig it way deeper than that, like. Oh my goodness, I'm miles off. Okay, do you know, do you know what I mean? You know, you know those little shovely things that makes a circle. Maybe I should get one. That might make this thing way faster. Hello, hello. 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 I found a scary one. Did you? I found a scary one. The scary one? Yes. Did you find the scary one? What does the scary one say? You're gonna be this, do the scary one then. Hello, this is the bathroom. What? No, do the scary one. You have to do the voice. Hello. Oh. oh. You want Daddy to do it? No, don't do it. Oh, don't. don't do it. I want to do. Huh? <gasps> it's the monkey. It's the monkey. It's the monkey. It's a scary monkey. Yes. Is the monkey scary too? <laughs> He's happy. He is happy. He's Eduardo made that for. He's not to say that, but Eduardo made that for Father's Day, for Daddy. Huh? He's big. Is he? Yeah. Now, what are you supposed to be doing right now? Well, it's fluffy. Are you supposed to be up here? It's fluffy. <laughs> it is fluffy. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to be up here? It's Do you want a piggyback? Do you want a piggyback? Oh, oh, tomorrow morning, lads. It's no! happening. I wish I was going in tier three. <laughs> oh, there'll be uniforms waiting for you. Daddy, You'll run out thinking, I'm just going to grab my iPad. Daddy, oh, no. Daddy. Yeah? Next time, um, I'm going to be in year three, and that will be the upper school. Whoa. Whoa. Are you ready to say goodbye to everyone, Amelia? Come here. Because, see, here's the thing. When you go back to school, you're hardly ever in the vlogs anymore when you guys go to school. Oh, no. But it's during the summer is when you are, because you're, you're like, pretty much gone now for um, our lives. So, we'll see Amelia again in half term. Um, so, goodbye, Amelia. We'll see you in half term. It's been nice to see you. You too, mister. We'll see you. It's going to be the Andrea and Alessia show now. Huh? This is what always happens during school term. Like, we never, Which never kids like hardly ever in the vlog. But during the summer and during the half term or whatever holiday term. Because they know that the people want to, they're, they're not used to it back. Mm -hmm. like, they don't it has nine weeks you've been off school. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Do I, I don't even remember where it is. Look, I'm bigger than anyone in the whole entire universe. But first, mommy uh, and daddy need to go you on. Know the fact in my book, and it says there was a man like really tall, like daddy, five meters I'm tall. Daddy. Yeah. Uh, he and he had a boy, mm -hmm. a, a little boy. And he was like that small. Right. And then he was like five meters tall. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Right, mommy and daddy are going on a date night. Uh, we just Alvi should get the rest of your uniform ready. Maybe Alvi can bring you to school in the morning. <laughs> But are you going? Yeah. For the whole day? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> the final meal. We did it. This is our celebratory meal. You made nine weeks of four children. It was the first time we ever had nine. It <laughs> was the first time we ever had nine kids. No, four kids for nine weeks. Not nine kids for four weeks. What would be worse? Leave comments. Would you rather have nine kids for four weeks or four kids for nine weeks? I'm going to say four weeks. For nine weeks. Well, just so happens, you have four kids for nine weeks. Come on down, the price is right. Yeah, I got to see you. Mm, God, it's great. This place is epic. This place is epic. Giggling Squid. Giggling Squid, guys. If you're ever in Reigate, go to Giggling Squid. It's very, very tasty. And that's it, guys. Emilia and Eduardo are in school. I've dropped them to school this morning. Um, and Alessia will be going to school in three days, so it'll be the Alessia and Andrea show, and it'll become the Andrea show. You know, I like to give him a good old hearty handshake and say, pleased to meet you. What's your name again?
<laughs> what a four. Uh, I think I think they're gonna really enjoy it. Like I think Alessi's gonna really um, come out of it because I, when you're one of four, like I was number three of four in my family, and I definitely think when you've got older brothers and sisters, you kind of use them to like. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to talk as much because they do all the talking for you. You don't have to like be brave as much because they're brave for you. You can kind of like, you know what I mean? Shelter yourself a little bit underneath your brothers and sisters when they're older than you. But as they become older and then they kind of move on, that's when myself and my little sister, our relationship probably got better because I started to having to like step up a little bit. So Alessia wants to like step up now and like be like, she's a big sister to Andrea and she's the, the, the biggest girl in the house, you know? And school for her, like it's not like, you know, it's not five days a week, it's only three days a week. So she'll still be like here for two days, but she is in ballet academy and stuff. But anyway, anyway. Uh, a lot of changes are happening. A lot of changes. But uh, it's all good. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Um, do the comments and the likes and stuff like that. And, uh, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time. I thought, as, as I, is it Friday? No. See you guys next time. Tomorrow. Bye. Together we're stronger.